Hi, I'm Dr. M. Yokelo and welcome to our new Cath Lab Theatre. Uh, this is one of the best in the world, probably the only one in Eastern Central Africa right now. It's called the Siemens Artist Q 2024. It's an amazing Cath Lab Theatre. But I'll get back to that in a moment. just want to introduce my team, uh, Sister Flavia Namuli, uh, who is the Senior Nursing Officer and Head of our Cath Lab. And then we have uh, Ms. Kate Aya, who is a senior cath lab technologist. Uh, Kate plays with the, with the machine, you know, she turns it up and about and she's going to take us through uh, as we go along. Here in Uganda and most of Africa, we still have other diseases that are number one, you know, malaria, we still have HIV, but heart disease or cardiovascular diseases are high up there. So this is uh, one of the tools that we use to diagnose and treat heart disease. If you think about it in terms of a pyramid, this is at the tip or the apex of the pyramid. We have uh, colleagues who are examining patients at the health center, measuring their blood pressure at the district hospital. We have a chest x-ray being done in a district hospital somewhere we have uh, ultrasound, we have echocardiogram being done even here at the Heart Institute. All these are tools for diagnosing heart disease. The cath lab is special in that we use these x-ray cameras and this one has two, it's called a biplane. You have this, which is the A plane, and then the other one, which is the B plane. The x-ray cameras are powerful x-ray cameras that allow us to look inside the body. See that as you're turning this bed, the camera is able to acquire images at very special angles that will allow us to perform procedures on this patient's heart in ways that have not been done before. As I've told you, uh, every year, about 1,000 to 2,000 will need to come in here. They have very special needs, yes. And then so over the lifetime of this, machine, which is about 10 years, we're looking at working between 10 to 15,000 uh, people. Those are people with very technical needs. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is to differentiate that they're not ordinary people. So someone may say, you're only, working, you're only going to see 10,000, but those 10,000 are very technical, very, very technical. Unlike the 50,000 we were able to see for other more general heart health needs. Movements of the bed, you're able to have those eyes, and then you have these eyes. So it's an ama amazing, amazing theater that we're able to do uh, close to robotic things that we're able to do. Yes, yeah, so uh, this cath lab does many things. And this can also be tilted. The cameras can also tilt. So you see, we can tilt them. Uh, those are called oblique angles. So you can see that. So we're able to move that too. And then we can move it uh, backwards. So basically, this offers us so many planes for us to access uh, the heart and perform the procedures that we need to perform. So all I'm saying is that we have the future. The future is here in Uganda. Many people are trying to catch up with this and we have it here in Uganda and Ugandans should be proud of these advancements and continue supporting the Heart Institute for us to do the work that we want to do to diagnose advanced heart disease, to treat advanced heart disease and also with the knowledge generated from here, continue to prevent disease. Remember that we don't want anyone to come here. If we could prevent disease and keep you at home, that's the best. But if you're unfortunate that you find yourself needing this, we want you to access the best. And the best is here. The people are well trained to use this. The equipment is the best. And so we should be able to do the best for you. Thank you very much.